Hey guys, welcome back for another Nerding Out with Jake series. This is the first episode of five of tackling the new Canemtech reanimator from the Necron army line for Games Workshop. Let's get started. First things first with any project, you always begin with priming. I wish it was this easy, but I chose VA Hill Black uh, for this for certain procedure because I wanted to keep a lot of the colors muted going forward. From there, I decided to base coat with Russian Green. It's a color I know very well, especially since I'm a military modeler. And I just very, very patiently add more and more layers to the Prime model. The best way to do it is to take your time, fill the layers up gradually, and just enjoy the process while you're doing it. Alright, with the first layer down, we then break off onto the second layer of gray green. Hey, gray green, sorry. And in this, I try to keep away from the recesses, but I want to hit all the panels and the main features of the model. That way I can create the illusion of light hitting it and maybe even some wear spots. Again, it all comes down to patience. Take your time at the step, add layer by layer, keep the paint very thin, and just take your time building it up. And eventually it'll look like this. Now it's time for the final highlight, the green gray. I'm not sure what the difference is between gray green, green gray, but here we are. At this highlight stage, I just took to the upper surfaces of the model, um, or the upper sections of each surface of the model, just to create more of a gradient and also to illustrate where more paint wear would occur either by natural elements like the sun or say this thing is getting hit by various items or whatever on the battlefield. I apologize in advance, my white balance is going off and on during this entire process because I am using a lot of different colors and the camera has a hard time with that. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to start using metallic paint to just kind of accent the little areas between the different spinal portions here. Um, I'm not really one to use a lot of metallic paint, but for this one I wanted them to pop, so I chose my trusty Vallejo Metacolor paint. At this point I wanted to bring back a little more of the contrast, so I took my very first base coat color in, of Russian Green. I started going back where, let's say, lower parts of the model and also areas that weren't as exposed to, say, the sunlight or whatever ambient glow is going on in the situation. It creates more contrast and more interest in the model, so it's a great thing to do. It's just something I picked up while I was working on my numerous tank projects. As was before, the key to the step is to take it very easy, because you could oversaturate the model with the darker green color. Don't be afraid to use multiple layers. And if you really mess up, you can always go back over the highlight colors, but it's just easier not to mess up. Take your time and just work the process. At this point, I wanted to bring back the different darker metal areas. I, In my mind, these things aren't just chrome color. They have a lot of different armor plates. And as you can see here, the autofocus fails on me sometimes, or just use error, take your pick. But I wanted to create a contrast between the light color plates and the different elements of the model, creating like a darker atmosphere. I wanted the armor to be the brightest thing, well, second to the eye parts, you'll see later on. But I wanted to keep a real neutral palette, so I went with the darker areas, like in this color, uh, the rubber black, and really kind of accented those um, away from the lighter plates. This was also a good time to touch up any areas that I might have overstepped with the metallic color because the rubber black is a very dominant color. It does a great job of cleaning up. And here we have it. Uh, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. I have a couple more, uh, or not a couple more, but four more episodes to look forward to where I walk you through this entire process. This is a very fun model, and uh, if you like what you see, feel free to hit the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Thanks, everyone.